oh, uh, we're going to look at a, an example of or an application using right triangles. So in this, again, these are the steps I normally follow. Um, draw a picture of the right triangle, label what you know and what you want to know using opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse to label the sides of the right triangle. Choose a ratio that involves the side that you know and the side that you want to know. Set up your ratio. Go ahead and figure out what the trigonometric function of the angle given is and solve for the unknown value. Right? So the example we're going to look at then, <clears throat> an aerial photographer in this airplane uh, takes photographs for a real estate company specializing in farm properties and has determined that the best photo is taken at a distance of 850 feet from the farmhouse. Here's the farmhouse, 850 feet. If the angle of depression is 49 degrees, and again, the angle of depression is always from the horizontal, so here's your horizontal. Angle of depression is downward from that horizontal. So they're giving us that theta is 49 degrees. How high is the airplane flying? So what we have then is we have a right triangle. We actually have two of them. I mean, that's actually often the case. All right. We have this right triangle. Here's your right angle. Here's your airplane. And here's your farmhouse. Okay. And they gave us, this is 850 feet. Let me make that bigger. There you go. Now they want to know what is this height. Okay. Now, <clears throat> you could do this with the other triangle that's here, right? Where this is the right angle. And actually I'll finish up with that, but I'm going to go ahead and use this internal angle. Um, obviously this right here is a 90 degree angle, so if this is 49 degrees, this here is, I'll call it alpha, equals 90 minus 49, so we should get 41 degrees. So I'm going to work with this internal triangle. Now, if I go ahead and set up what is it that I know, relative to alpha, this here is the opposite. This is... Uh, the adjacent, and always across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Okay, so I'm working with this triangle here, and what I can see is <clears throat> I'm given the hypotenuse, and I want to know the adjacent. All right, so which function should I use? Well, let's take a look at our functions that are available to us, and remember we're looking for adjacent and hypotenuse. So it looks like cosine or secant, and I like to work with sine, cosine, and tangent because the buttons are already there in your calculator. So I'm going to use cosine. So then what we're going to do is say that the cosine of alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse. And then plugging everything in, we know that the cosine of alpha is the cosine of 41 degrees. And here in our picture, Adjacent, we're going to let be H, and the hypotenuse is 850. So H over 850. Now, then all I need to do is put cosine of 41 degrees in my calculator, and be careful that you're in degree mode. Let me just show you where that is, by the way. If you go to mode, uh, I don't know how well you can see this. Let me kind of bring this way up. Um, you have radian or degree. You want to be in degree mode. Okay, so you access this screen by pressing mode. All right, so put in cosine of 41 degrees, you'll get 0 0.7547 is h over 850. And of course, then just multiply both sides by 850. And you get 641.5 feet. So we're just going to say about 642. Okay. Now, just for kicks, uh, let's go ahead and look at this picture again. And I'm going to do this also with the angle that was given that was 49 degrees and this right triangle. So let me go ahead and label all that. So if I did that, I would be working with this triangle. Right? And then this. Now, so this is still 850. Let me mark it over here. Here's your right angle. 
Here, theta would be the given 49 degrees, and you still want to know how high is the airplane, and this height is the same as this height. They're both the same. So I could set up either one. So here, relative to this angle, this is the opposite, this is the adjacent, and here is the hypotenuse. Okay. So again, if I'm working with that, then what I know is the, the hy hypotenuse, and I want to know the opposite. So I look at my six functions and see which one of these deals with opposite and hypotenuse, and I see that it's sine or cosecant. So I'll go ahead and work with sine. So I'll say the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Specifically, the sine of 49 degrees is some height over the 850 feet. When I put sine of 49 degrees in my calculator, I will again get 7547. You can verify this. You can pause the video here and just verify that you do get that. And then multiply both sides by 850. So, of course, we're going to get about 642 feet. Okay. Thanks for listening.